Okay, for this video, I'll quickly talk about what is store with multiple point of view. Okay, we've talked about it in class, so just treat it as a quick summary. Okay, so uh, sometimes story can be written in more than one point of view. You will see that um, the story is told from different characters' point of view. Flipped is a very very good example. So sometimes we'll see how Bryce feel how Bryce feels and then sometimes we'll see how Julie feels okay so uh, one chapter is Bryce and another chapter is Julie so we'll follow this structure to write our uh, multiple point of view stories later on so one paragraph will be on one character and then another paragraph will be uh, another character on the same event okay uh, but we'll talk more about the structure later don't worry so here is just a, a quick a glimpse of what uh, multiple point of view is like so uh, with multiple point of view stories, you can know more about, well, you know, you can know the story more thoroughly because you can see how different characters feel and think uh, on the same event, okay? And you can also look at the story from different angles, okay? Uh, if a boy uh, come across this event, maybe that will be the reaction and feelings. And when a girl comes to uh, come across this event, maybe it will be something else or different ages, different gender, different occupation, etc, etc. So from different people, you will see, uh, you view the event from a different angle. So it will be more fun, interesting, and uh, probably more in-depth as well. So think about it, if you watch Three Little Pigs from the pig's point of view, okay, you will know that the wolf is a, is a dangerous man and then uh, they're going to be killed, okay? But if you look at the story from uh, the the, the wolf points of uh, the wolf's point of view, you will know that the wolf is actually a very very nice guy. Uh, he's trying to prepare a kick for his grandma, but he's trying to uh, find the pigs and, and 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 borrow sugar from them. And it's the pig that is very very rude. So from the same issue, the same event, uh, with two different point of view, we know that the story will be different. So, for example, Sleeping Beauty, if we look at uh, Aurora, okay, the princess, uh, from that point of view, we know that the queen is evil and then uh, the Sleeping Beauty is cursed, okay? But if we look at Maleficent, the, uh, the, the movie, okay, from the queen's point of view, we know that she had a very, very uh, tough uh, history background uh, that uh, makes her... Um, uh, help everyone feels her like she's very evil, but she's actually protecting uh, the princess. So, so you if if you if you tell the story from a different aspect, uh, no, 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 perspective, then uh, the story will be different. Okay, so when you plan your story, your uh, multiple point of view later on, don't worry. Uh, right now, you just need to write your one side point of view story first. Okay, but later on, you will start thinking about if you want to write. Uh, uh, your story, I want you to think of two different characters, okay, and they should be contrasting uh, in terms of gender, maybe one is very old, one is very young, or age, uh, oh, gender, sorry, gender is not age, gender is like female, male, okay, a boy, uh, a girl, a man, a, we a woman, okay, different gender, and then age, uh, an old man or old woman uh, versus a young kid nationality maybe one is asian one is western so they have cultural differences okay or any aspect that you can think of that is very very contrasting for example a guy from the past uh, versus a guy from the future so uh, it, it can be very very creative it doesn't need to be um, super realistic it can be fictional okay think about it so after you think of your character, later on you will write the story in first-person narrative for each part, each paragraph, uh, okay? And then, or, or you can use third-person narrative, okay? Um, it's up to you, but it will be easier if you tell the story. Um, no, 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 I think it will be easier for you guys to write in third-person narrative, narrative, okay? Uh, but if you want, you can use first-person as well, but you have to make sure your your description and explanation is clear. And, of course, you need to use past tense to tell a story, okay? And this will be the structure. You will start with one paragraph of one character, and then the second paragraph will be on uh, another character on the same event. And then the third paragraph will go back to your character A again, and then tell how the story develops, and then paragraph four. You can have five or six paragraphs, and then you can you can continue to develop the stories, okay? But minimum that we require is uh, four paragraphs, and uh, you don't need to... Uh, finish the whole story, but you definitely need to reach the climax, okay? Uh, the biggest turning point.
of the story okay so uh, basically this is a quick intro of the multiple point of view uh, story that we are going to write and now you should look at your writing pack and then read the story there and analyze and complete page 8 okay and after you finish it you can start planning your own story and watch my another video and continue uh, to work on the pack on page 10